Hey guys, it's Ryan here. It is Thursday, January 13th, and we've had snow on the ground since Sunday. Um, that's quite a while for southern Arkansas. We're not quite used to this, and it's been pretty cold too. Uh, yesterday it was 7, and this morning it was 8, and uh, we're not real prepared with the equipment to handle this kind of weather. The roads are still, uh, the main roads are pretty good, but if you get on a side road, and especially in the shade of the trees, they're still covered in ice. Um, there's still actually some some schools closed, but what do you expect? Uh, there's snow in 49 of the 50 states, even in Hawaii. I think that's pretty crazy. Um, but uh, we've been dealing with it, getting the cows fed a lot of hay, and this morning I'm putting out some minerals in the mineral troughs and checking all the cows, making sure they're still healthy. Uh, they hadn't been giving us a whole lot of problem. On the other hand, we've had a few water spigots freeze up and some water lines bust, but uh, overall, you know, it's not too bad. You know, we're not real equipped down here to to handle this cold weather. If we were farther up north, we'd have the tools and and be prepared for this cold weather, or colder. Um, but it ain't been too bad. I lost my phone yesterday, and uh, Aaron Vines in Oklahoma says it's karma, because the other day I posted a photo where it said it was 88 degrees. Um, it was well wishing, right? Uh, but uh, no, or it could be because I... Uh, called the telephone company yesterday and let them have a piece of my mind about overcharging me a hundred bucks but you know karma comes back to get you I found my phone and uh, we're working on drying it out and I think it might survive it I guess it dropped into a slush puddle and uh, froze overnight but we're gonna get it dried out um, something to think about today um, you know we've I know down here in the Mississippi River Valley in south central US we had a pretty dry 2010 um, and a lot of people sold off their cows cold pretty hard and, and uh, nationally the beef cow herd is, is at historical lows. Um, so that puts quite a strain on the beef markets to keep beef on the grocery shelves and so beef prices have been shooting up over the last several months and they just continue to go up um, despite lower gains because of winter weather. Um, so uh, to me I would think that uh, this would be a great year to keep heifers and stock cows and replacement cattle are gonna gonna be a pretty hefty price come spring when grasses come up or even next year when people are starting to rebuild their herds hopefully um, but I'm not an economist so you ag econ people you ag business people uh, let me know what you think I'd really like to know uh, what you think the forecast is and the outlook if I wanted to retain some heifers this year out of this year's calf crop and uh, and keep them for uh, potential replacements to sell later um, later in the years uh, let me know I'd really like to, to know your thoughts on this um, have a great day. Have a great weekend from Prattsville, Arkansas. This is Ryan.